Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He commented. Thank you so much for commenting, James. If not for your comment, the video probably would have been stuck at 200 views. When a big name or a big YouTuber comments on a small video like mine, the video gets significantly more traffic than before. Again, thank you, James. Stay awesome. Congrats on the book. I will for sure buy it when I'm not broke. All right, we're back. The only thing that's really changed is now I choose as many favorite comments as I want. And now I choose three of my favorite songs that month. And I explain why they're my favorite songs that month. Get it? Got it? Good. Let's go. Joe says, thumbs up for you, bud. Thanks, man. TML says, great vid. Glad you liked it, man. The Five Show says, keep it up, lazy. I will. The Night Owl. Hello? Tuning in. Hey. Sam Bartolo says, I love your content, keep up the good work, I love your drawing too. Thank you man. You know, the funny thing about my drawing is, it really is, or at least was, so bad that I would constantly laugh at it. And it was so fun just to draw some horrible stuff, because it was kind of a new thing I was doing, you know? kind of wanted to experiment and go outside my comfort zone. I distinctly remember like my second picture drawing for the video. I was trying to draw a turtle, but it was so bad that it ended up looking like like a green circle or some kind of demon mutant thingy. Kill me! Ah! Kill me! Wasn't even on purpose. It was just so bad. If I can find it, I'll definitely put it up or try to put up a recreation of what it was. It was just so bad. I don't know what happened. Jinxies says, smiley face, except with the three. You're dope, Jinxies. Love you, man. And now here's one of the comments of the month. From Purple Smite, aka King Darius, aka Kyriakos. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. I'm not sure. He says, Lazy, my man, you are actually doing so good. Sometimes I used to watch some of your videos because I like you as a person, not because the video was great, but now I watched the whole video without getting bored. It was just such a great video. Keep it up, man. Trust me, if you keep uploading videos like that for one to two years, you will at least get 100,000 subs. Remember your boy, King Darius, smiley face. I felt like with the new video, I kind of had to not be so artistic, which is kind of funny because I drew things. My other videos were a little bit too, I'd say, hard to understand. It would go over a lot of people's heads because I would put in an insane amount of work into it, but I wouldn't be very happy with the end product. So I kind of just stopped, did a lot of research, did a lot of analyzing, and this is where I ended up. I feel like I really evolved as a creator with this video. It was really fun to do. I think it was one of the few videos that I can say I was almost 100% happy with. The only parts I wasn't really happy with was some of the voice acting. I wish some of the voice acting was a bit better, but it was mostly because I was kind of doing it all in one take. Besides that one day and that night, there was literally no other time I could do it. But yeah, I was really happy with my evolution and I'm glad you liked my new evolution too. I'm still going to be sticking to the old stuff, but I'm definitely different than what I was before. Hope you guys stick around to see my progress. OP Ground Zero says, Wait a minute, you're Vietnamese? Yep, and so are you. Totally Swagical says, By the way, see you with that fairy tale insignia. Top 10 anime plot twists. Oh yeah, I really was not expecting that at all. There's a lot more to the story, but I didn't really have time to talk about it. Maybe if the video keeps doing super well, I'll make a Subway part 2. Kinda don't want to copy James, but Marcus Oliver, personal friend in real life, recently met him at work, super fucking awesome dude, says, keep up the good work. I will, man. If you're watching this, thank you for subscribing, checking out my video, and driving me home on those days I did not want to run home from work. Hedden Mars says, teach me how to draw, please. Well, uh, it's pretty simple. Alright, so, first you're gonna want to watch the odd ones out and try to look at what he's doing, and then you're gonna want to attempt the same thing in paint, and then fail. So you download Paint 3D because it's way easier. And then you just make stick figures with the straight lines they give you. And then you somehow make it look okay. And then you either make it look wow. so good it's amazing or so bad it's hilarious.
and then you're okay. Dylan Adams says, hey, awesome vid. Thanks, man. Awesome comment. Amaya says, good job. I am subscribing to you. I am sub to James, and I think you kind of had the same things he does, so I am subbing. Yeah, that's not really, uh... A coincidence. One of the people I drew inspiration from when I was doing a lot of research and analyzing was I did a lot of research on iDubs, James, Dunky, a few others. Just watching their videos, learning their technique, learning how they speak, how they flow with their videos, a lot of things. And James is amazing. He deserves everything he has right now. He is so good at making videos. I'm actually thinking of making a video on why he's so amazing. Foreshadowing, of course. Not sure if it's gonna happen, but maybe. The odd threes out, quote unquote, small. I remember in the video putting the yes really small. That was more so for artistic and comedic effect. Because I said yes really lightly and really softly. I think that's what you're talking about. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Master S Extreme. A patron, by the way. Oh boy. Holy shit. That ending made me drop my jaw and break it through the floor. Dot dot dot. Poor guy. Initiating. The feels train. Please enjoy your sad stay. Yeah, that day was not very good. It was even sadder. You know, I'm just gonna talk about here instead of in the video, but I might just talk about it in the video too. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this completely right, but basically when his friend died, he called the manager, the real boss of the store, and he told him what happened. And the boss said, hey man, if you need to take a lot of time off, go ahead. No one would fault you for it. And Joe replied back saying like, nah, dude, I'm fine. But really, he wasn't fine. At work, he just seemed so sad and dead trying to recover. He basically used work as a way to force himself to do something else besides be alone and think about what happened. It was really sad and tragic. I worked my ass off that day for him. I tried to be as little of a nuisance as possible. I always asked him, hey man, if you need me to do anything, just let me know. And of course he always did. But overall, really tragic. Unlucky for Joe. The Fields Train. Complete. Here is a picture of a puppy and her teddy bear to cheer you up. We hope to see you again in the next video. Goodbye. Potato Chan says, door, running. Bye. Bye. And now, we gotta end it with my other favorite comment of the month. The odd ones out says, congrats? Thank you. I love you, James. Reading that at 2 a.m., I just couldn't sleep. I was so happy. I was so hyped. Oh my god. You could not believe it. See, the thing was, James found that video, like, less than 200 views. It was crazy. And then the moment he commented, next day I woke up, it had another, like, 800. So many nice comments. So many nice people. Only one dislike. I don't know who from, but you probably unsubscribed too, but fuck it. I don't care. I was too happy. I'm still pretty happy about it. Thank you, James. Time for some music. I love music. It's the main thing that keeps me alive, content, and driven every single day. Being an artist myself and creating things, it allows me to have a much deeper appreciation of things, especially music. So now let's talk about my three favorite songs this month. Kids See Ghosts, Reborn. This was for sure my favorite song off the album. Kid Cudi's vocal chops are even better than before. That dreamy melodic voice from back in the 2000s. God, I just love it. Then Kanye's verse on here is gut wrenching. I was off the chain, I was off the drain, I was off the mess, I was called the same. What an awesome thing, engulfed the shame. I want all the rain, I want all the pain, I want all the smoke, I want all the blame. Cardio, audio, let me jog your brain. Oh my god. It's even better when you know that both Kid Cudi and Kanye were going through a lot of stuff themselves. Kid Cudi wanted to commit suicide, if I remember correctly. Kanye lost his confidence, went crazy, was all alone. It's such a strong song with the simple beat. A uh, different song, kind of together. It was this mm -hmm. jazz take I had that was super triumphant and just sounded grand. And a lot of those... November from Tyler the Creator. I love a lot of songs off this album, but this one just had to be the one. The premise of the song is, bring me back to November, meaning, 
it could be a person, it could be a song, it could be a time, but just those things that just make you super happy. Something I should let you guys know is I don't really have depression anymore. Well, that's not completely true, but now it just happens much less frequently. It only happens sometimes where I can't really move, I can't really eat, I can't really live. There's just no reason to. I just feel so worthless. All these bad things are coming back to me. It just makes it so hard to do anything. But the majority of the time, I'd say the other 26 days of the month, I'm more so just self-aware. And I think about a lot of things that seem sad, but it's not like I'm sad or anything. I'm just self-aware of things. And that's exactly how Tyler is on this song. Even though his life is better than ever, he talks about What if when I put who that boy out no one cares? What if I'm hustling backwards? What if my accountant is stealing money from me and I don't know it? Yeah. Just everything that could be the worst thing that could happen to me at that moment. I was just like, what if? I think about a lot of those things and if I was in that position, what I would do and what I want to do and I wish I was in that position, just a lot of things. If I lost it all and ended up back in the dare at them shitty apartments that's across the Bank of America, damn, I would be hurting writing all of these songs because why if I wasn't working? There's a lot more to the song, but I'll just stop there because I don't want to go on forever. Blood on Me by Sampha. Truly a work of art this song is. So much creativity here. Sampha's album in general paints this image in your mind so vividly. Like it's a song come to life. Especially with Blood On Me. You hear these ahs and oo sounds and bells in the beginning. Not expecting what will come next. Then suddenly, the beat does a switch up. The voice smoothly gets louder while the bell gets a touch quieter. Sampha suddenly breathing heavily in between each verse of him singing with this ominous beat in the background. Great hoodies, they cuff the heads. The lyrics are so different. It's really like a horror suspense movie song come to life. They say Oh boy, all the songs will be in the description below. And now, to end it with patrons. I love each and every one of you, especially you Mads. I don't know why, but you always like my posts and I really appreciate that because it feels like someone's actually reading it and I'm not wasting my time. Patrons are Mads, Aiden, Peter, Joshua, Warren, Tyler, Master, and eh, whatever. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you again for your continued support for all these months, even when I wasn't making videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I forgot to say it before, so I'll say it now. To my subscribers, I love you guys. You're awesome. Thank you for the continued support. Also, I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers to my channel. Hey, how's it going? Next here are all the comments that didn't make it because I didn't see them or for some other random reason. Omega says, what is the name of your channel? Lazy8654 says, huh, I share the beginning of my channel name with you. You ain't nothing to me, kid. Heh. Don't worry guys, he'll never know I said that. He's not subscribed. Sir Borkton says, okay, okay, so it's late here and this video was uploaded a bit ago. But like, if you are did similar videos too, I'd watch to be honest. Even though it's sort of similar to James's videos, the way you lackadaisically speak, which kind of makes me want to watch more. Anyway, I'll keep an eye out for this YouTube channel. I guess it really is late because that whole statement is fucked up. I do appreciate the words, but lackadaisical is not the right word to use. In fact, I think it's the opposite of the word you were trying to use. Board says, watch this video to waste your time. If you're actually trying to waste time, you should check it out. I watched about 10 seconds of it and it wasted about 10 seconds of my life. Gay kid says, which is Taj. Love you, lazy. Love you too, man. Musk Husk. Well, it looked like he broke his neck. Then he comments again. Never mind, just watch the rest of the video. Yup, it went down like that. Zen Mayo says, some weird stuff. I'm into that. So good job, mate. You got a new sub. Welcome. And yeah, I think that's all of them. Last thing I want to say is, this will be the last video I post for a bit. I will be working on a gigantic video as a last hurrah before I go back to school. If it does super well, I won't have to go to school. If it does shit, going to school. 
And yeah, that's about it. See ya.